right, so we're here uh, again with another inventory video. And you'll be pleased to know that this is another 40 plus year old Hakoska. This one's in really great shape actually, nice seats here, everything's good. And the gauges seem to be uh, all functional, which is good. Occasionally we get one or two of them that are uh, needing in some sort of repair, but this one overall is in really great condition. I just added a little bit of gas, we're good to go. Got about a quarter tank, so we're going to make it count. Well, this is good. I normally don't get a chance to drive a Hakoska in the rain. It just started pouring. Uh, so those of you that have seen our other Hakoskas know that they've all been in various shape. Uh, some clean, some needing a little bit of love. But uh, yeah, this one is one of those that's pretty good in and out. Uh, custom, it's a custom restorations, you know, better exhaust. I'll show you the engine bay later. It's looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, just overall very smooth riding condition. I'm really glad about this. Uh, some of them have power steering, some of them don't. Uh, between the Hakoskas and the Ken Marys, you know, actually some recent Ken Marys we had were in awesome shape. And uh, some of the Hakoskas had power stuff, some didn't. So, like this one doesn't have power steering again, but that, I don't really care about that. Uh, but it looks like the temperature, yeah, the fan's working good. Um, some of them have a clutch fan, some of them have been upgraded to electronic fans, so really It's really hit or miss on the condition of Hakoskas that you get, so It's even getting harder for us to get good ones these days, too And the price, the price just keeps going up, man, it's uh For a while nobody really cared and then of course uh, once the R32 started going up so did these. Funny that the R30 and R31, as rare as they are, a lot of people still aren't going after them that much, though. Uh, but to each their own, right? Get a car that you love. And uh, this one has a lot to love here. I love that the uh, there's a lot of original upholstery, original dash. You know, even with this uh, you know plastic combination, it's not it's not cracked, which is impressive for 40 plus years old. Usually plastic gets extremely brittle. Uh, we do have a CD deck here if you want some of that good old audio. And uh, I think the previous owner actually left a couple of CDs in there for you too, so uh, we'll leave those in there. <laughs> uh, overall, I get to try this a little bit in the rain. We've got some good tires and uh, I believe uh, 13 or 14 inch wheels. So you have that Watanabe look that a lot of people love with these classic cars. And as always, we've got the fender mirrors on there. These ones are great. Uh, we actually had one car recently that had motorized ones, so that was nice and upgraded. But this one's not one of those. This one's all manual, everything. So if that's what you want, this is the exact classic. You're going to definitely need to check this out. Yeah, so through all the gears, it's fine. Uh, since it's a little bit rainy, I'm not going to punch it. And uh, wow, yeah, it's really coming down again. All right, guys, let's uh, we'll be at the warehouse here in a few minutes, and I'm going to show you this a little more in depth. It's beautiful. All right, so let's start off with the interior here. And uh, here's that nice dash that I was talking about. Got all the gauges you need here, and they're all functional, so that's good. Um, sometimes there's wiring issues and other things that we've got to uh, get repaired ahead of time, but uh, this one came in with no issues whatsoever. Just like a previous one we had that the uh, float for the fuel gauge was not working. This one, on the other hand, no problem. Yep, so I got a quarter tank in there and meh. <laughs> I think we need some more. And uh, anyways, here we've got the CD deck, 2000 GT logo, original shift knob, and uh, you can see the upholstery and the sides and the doors all good. Back seats are in good shape. the hood here and I'll get the keys ready for the uh, trunk. 
I'll show you guys around on the exterior. Look at this. Oops. All right, and have a look at this. And uh, I was wrong about the size. It's actually 15s on this, but they have the nice deep, deep dish on the rear. Nice staggered setups, a little wider in the back. Give you that traction. And as you can see, we've got the front lip and everything, all the goods. The paint is in really great shape, too. So, uh, I'm not sure if it was restored or if it's original, but overall it's looking really good. You got Falcon tires all around. So, you got some good tread on there. I haven't had much mileage on them. They look fairly new, so. Now before we get to the engine bay, why don't I just show you guys trunk space. It seems to be restored in great shape. That uh, cover there for where the fuel tank is. And while we don't have the uh, spare tire, uh, the area for it's looking good, and we got this car cover here for you. Actually, I'm not sure if that's included, but uh, we're, we're keeping her in good shape at our lot. Can't be too careful with these. And uh, yeah, let's go have a look at the engine bay. This, you should be mighty pleased when you see that. Restored quite nicely. We've got strut bar as well. Give you that chassis rigidity you need. You got the uh, original radiators. Either that or it's OEM style. It's in good shape. Had no problems with overheating, so they've uh, flushed it and taken good care of that. We've got Mikuni carbs, so we do have JDM carbs here as well. And as you can see, they got braided hoses there. We got good performance spark plug wires on there to get that nice, nice performance, smooth idling, smooth revving, good stuff. We do have the distributor and everything here. I'm not sure if it's just OEM style or if they had upgraded that. So we do have a more powerful coil though, at least. As you can see, the uh, top mounts for the coilovers. OS Geekin. I believe the clutch on here, which is uh, still OEM style, but it's very smooth. As you can see, very same performance by OS. So yeah some stickers for that. And yeah, with these individual throttle bodies, it sounds good, revs good, the uh, engine response is really nice. Yeah, a little better than the stock air box that some still have. You gotta love that sound, too. Alright, there's the chassis code if you're interested. It's well within the range for importing to the U.S. or to most countries, so shouldn't have any problem with that. All right, crew, as we head to the end of the summer, hope you guys uh, like this and uh, you're thinking about the holidays. Talk with our sales team, info at jdm-expo.com. If you want to get uh, one of these before the holidays, the time is now. Basically between now and October, if you can get shipped out uh, to the U.S., uh, you should be able to make it before or around the time of the holiday rush and get this before Christmas. After that, towards New Year's and stuff, it gets a little bit rough uh, between most countries shipping around those holidays, so uh, you might have to wait a little while. So 
yeah, if you're interested in this or any other vehicles and getting those before the holidays, yeah, definitely uh, want to get that shipped out before Halloween or maybe before Thanksgiving at the most. Uh, it usually takes about uh, three to five weeks, six weeks sometimes. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for stopping by. And if you're interested in this, make sure to talk to our sales team, info at jdm-expo.com, and they can answer all your questions there or DM us on any of our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah, that goes directly to our sales team. They can answer all your questions there about this or any other vehicles that you may be looking for or interested in. And make sure to check out our other videos. As always, we've got plenty of those. And uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can uh, see whenever we have more inventory videos over the next uh, couple weeks before the holidays. If you guys want one of these before Christmas. So, uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.